This is Otto with a junior rider who will help us diagnose the posting trot. The trot is a 2 beat diagonal gait. The horse moves the diagonal pairs of legs together. The blue markings show the shoulder and hip movement during the trot, which the rider can see from above and we can see from the side. Watch the red bandaged legs move at the same time and the white bare legs move at the same time. Another way to see this is to notice the left front moves with the right hind and the right front moves with the left hind. Now our junior riders will demonstrate posting on the correct diagonal and how to change diagonals. The posting trot is rising up and down with a diagonal pair of legs while the horse is trotting. The correct diagonal is when the rider goes up as the outside front leg and inside hind leg are up and down when those diagonal pair of legs are down. It may be more clear now why you hear the words posting on the correct diagonal or when your trainer says you're on the wrong diagonal. Watch how the rider's body moves with the red bandages. This rider is on the correct diagonal. Some riders see their diagonals by looking at the shoulder. Notice the blue painted shoulders moving alternately. Ideally, riders feel the horse's hip motion and don't need to look at the shoulder to determine if they are correct. Notice how our rider on diamond is posting with the inside shoulder and therefore is on the wrong diagonal. Let's look at how to change your diagonal. This rider will be changing direction and her diagonal at the same time to be with the correct pair of legs. Remember the rule, rise with the outside shoulder. You will notice she sits an extra beat and comes up with the alternate pair of legs as she changes direction. Oops, watch your steering. Riders have lots to think about with learning to post and change diagonals. Let's see this again, changing back to the original circle, sitting an extra B in order to come up with the correct pair of legs. Nicely done! Next, the rider will start out on the wrong diagonal, staying on the same circle and change to the correct diagonal. Notice sitting an extra beat in order to change. The horses are much happier when we stay in motion with them on the correct diagonal. When riders practice changing diagonals, they begin to feel when they are with the horse and when they are not. Eventually, the change of diagonal becomes smooth and unnoticeable. More experienced riders feel their diagonals and can use the timing of the horse's legs in transitions and even in jumping. Keep practicing and tune in again for more riding strategies.